All right. So uh, let's talk about the New York Jets. What up and down? The Jets were just trash and trash and trash. And then they started out last year. They were hot and we thought it was we thought things had gotten turned around and then it just turned into a struggle uh, for the Jets for the, the remainder of the last you know month of the season. Uh, they didn't make the playoffs. Incredibly disappointing. There is a heavy rumor about Aaron Rodgers going to the Jets. And I would, I, I dismiss a lot. Of, um, there's so much of that crap now where they're, they got a clickbait headline of so and so is traded to so and so. And you, you click on it, you realize there's somebody's mock draft that they put, the, you know, you don't, but this Jets Rodgers thing just keeps coming back up. So there has to be uh, some some room some merit to it. Now I know it's because um, the Jets have said they will do whatever it takes to get Aaron Rodgers, which does not mean <laughs> they're going to get Aaron Rodgers. But I I know that some people are speculating that we may that deal may not be done until the summertime. So the Jets got to start making some contingency plans. The what if Rodgers thing doesn't have. I mean that's a huge if to gamble on. Uh, and w- we need to mention that Derek Carr's still available, and he might be an, a solid fit for them for the the short term future for the next three or four years. Uh, what do you think? So I'm glad that those are the two quarterbacks you mentioned because here's how I think this is about to go. Because there have been a bunch of rumors Rodgers uh, going to New York because of the Nathaniel Hackett hire, and he loves being with Nathaniel Hackett. He said on on Aaron Rodgers Tuesday on the Pat McAfee show that Nathaniel Hackett is one of the favorite coaches he's ever had and and has ever played for. So with that being said, after this past weekend, the Pro Bowl weekend and comments that I had heard from Aaron Rodgers, comments that I had heard from Devontae Adams, sure seems like the Raiders are also going to be doing whatever they can do to bring in Aaron Rodgers and reunite him with Devontae Adams. So I think, wow. I, in my opinion, what I think is going to end up happening is a, a three-team trade with the Packers, the Jets, and the Raiders, where the Jets end up getting Derek Carr, the Raiders end up getting Aaron Rodgers, and the Packers are getting draft compensation, and they have – Aaron Love, maybe they even get Zach Wilson as a part of that. The Jets don't have to worry about him anymore. And and everybody, you know, gets who they want out of this or, you know, gets a different situation, which is what all these three teams are looking to do. And and it feels like everybody would be happy in that situation. That that has so much logic to it that um, that that almost sounds like it's going to happen. That's how I feel like when I came up with the thought, it was like, I mean, that sounds too rational to to not think that that's what's going to happen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But so did Tom Brady going back and playing for, you know, McDaniel and that we saw where that went, at least for now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so is all right. So is Derek Carr the answer to the Jets problems? I think for the situation that they're in, like a team that has a good team around the quarterback, they just need a guy like Derek Carr seems like a good option. He's a guy that's never had a good defense, right? In the Jets, that's that's their strong point right now is is being able to rely on that defense. And they, they've done a good job rebuilding the O-line the last couple of years. They've gotten some really good guys. They just have to keep them healthy. That's kind of where the Jets season in 2022 fell apart is when the guys that they've drafted high over the last couple of years both got injured. So those guys need to come back. They've rebuilt the O-line uh, other than that. so And they went out and got Garrett Wilson. They have a couple pieces there for the quarterback to throw to. They have a running back in Brees Hall that they drafted. He tore his ACL in 2022 as a rookie, but he'll be back next year. He looked like he's going to be the next one in the NFL. So I think they they have the pieces. Derek Carr could slide in and be in one of the best situations that he's been in in his entire career. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I really like what is going on uh, in in New York. And we've talked about that over and over and over that I think that I think Salah is, I think he's the answer. I, I really think that 
that he's going to bring something special to New York Jets fans, and Lord knows they deserve it. And so I, I think I think Carr's a good answer anyway. I, I know, I and I know you don't like this, but I and the the rest of the Colts fans w- would flip the fuck out. But I I think Carr is would be a good solution for Indianapolis. I think Carr would be a good solution for New York. So. I think he's got a lot of life left in him. And I think that moving that this trade happened and he went to New York, I think it would be really good for the Jets and really good for Derek Carr, at least in the short term, and uh, probably be the answer to their problems. And they'll probably find themselves uh, contending for a playoff spot next year. That would probably be the likely outcome. You know, they would have to compete with the Bills for their division. You know, the Dolphins, good chance the Dolphins are there too. It's going to be a competitive division. Um, but they could certainly end up in the playoffs next year. It will. But from a psychological standpoint, the Bills are wounded. And the Dolphins are unsure of their identity. They haven't been able to give that hump. And Tua, they've started to, and then things fell apart with Tua's injury. So that division is ripe for the picking, man. And a strong Jets team with not enough experience to be over to be uh, incredibly confident and almost borderline air, arrogant could run in and just sneak up behind people and beat them up and take that division next year. They really could. And I don't want to downplay how good the bills are, but there's a huge psychological hurdle to get over that they haven't been able to do what they should have done the last two or three years. And that starts to creep in and it starts, it starts to hurt a program. So it'll be interesting to see, we're not talking about the bills, but it'll be interesting to see how they respond to that. I'm just saying that the jets could come in here if they, if they had all the pieces in place and they could bully their way to the top. 